I'm going to show you a delete example, but before we do, let's start fresh. We do a create table, department table, as, and we select everything from the department table, and we're going to distribute on depno. Our table is created. The row ID came because we hashed the distribution key of depno. Now, take a look at the create X ID. Why is it the same? Because in this one transaction, all of those rows were created. Notice that we have all zeros in the delete X ID because nothing's been deleted yet. Just focus on that. We're all set up. Now, we're going to delete from our table where the depth knows equal to 400. And as you can see, we've got two rows that have a delete X ID. They are logically deleted, just not physically yet. You made a little mistakey. It happens. Even I've made them. And you said, oh no, I just deleted rows. I could get a little trouble around here. I'm going to undo this delete. You just insert into the table, select everything where the delete X ID is equal to the one you just deleted, and those rows are going to come back, and no one's going to be the wiser. Let me explain this. Take a look at the top. This is what we saw on the previous slide, and you can see that we have those deleted rows. Then we reinserted those based on the delete X ID, and as you can see at the bottom, everything is back pretty much to normal, but you can see that those two rows have a different create X ID, but when the user queries, they're going to get these rows back. How many rows are physically in this table? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice that I put the deleted rows set statement equal to false, so you're not seeing any rows that aren't current, but trust me, they are in there. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Start your Nateza journey the right way by reading our Brilliance of Nateza book. Visit coughingdw.com for more information.